everyone, welcome back. I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. For today's speed build, I have an Explorian set. Set 6938, the Scorpion Detector from 1996. So stick around to the end to hear my review, and let's get started. So here we have the completed build. This set is really close to 200 pieces and comes with two minifigures. Now a few weeks ago I had gotten a bulk lot purchase of around 30 pounds of Lego in and then maybe a week or two after that I actually got a much smaller lot in and that was around 15 pounds but it was all very similar Lego era stuff. So this is all very late 90s. So I actually have sorted all of that now and combined it with the previous lot since they were all like space themes, some pirates, some soccer, a little bit of Star Wars, but really all in the same era. So it's making completing sets a lot easier and it's kind of just like first come first serve. Whichever set I get to first gets completed and then I move on to the next one depending on what pieces I'm looking at. So this one I think mostly came from the second smaller lot but I'm sure at least a few of the pieces were used to complete this set from the first lot. So this set is complete, which is really awesome. I did get one other really small Explorian set. It's like a little hovercraft. But other than that, this is the first time I've ever had an Explorian set. So I'm really excited to add this theme to my collection. There were a ton of really short-lived space themes during the 90s. And so it's really exciting to keep adding new little sub themes to my collection. So this set is really awesome. This is the first time I've ever built it and I'm very excited. So I'll go ahead and show you the minifigures first. It does come with two minifigures, but they're very similar. Head, torso, legs, all the same. The helmets are just slightly different. So here we just have a generic standard dark gray helmet. And then this is the one that's kind of like a breathing apparatus kind of hose around it. Other than the helmets, they're pretty much identical. But really cool minifigures. This set does come with a few sticker pieces. Um, and considering this set is from 1996, they're in relatively good condition. And the very cool thing about these stickers are... Some of them are magnetic, which I think is a really cool idea. Space was big with magnets, and I love that, the little round magnets. Sets that come with those are some of my all-time favorites. So the fact that they incorporated magnetic stickers into these sets I think is really cool. So on the front end here, we do have a magnet, the typical round magnet, and then it comes with two of these magnetic sticker pieces that go on the tiles. So when your little craft is moving around, 
it can pick them up, which is super unique. I really don't know of other themes other than maybe insectoids that has translucent neon green pieces that have a little magnetic sticker on the top. So between these two, um, if you know of any others, let me know. Off the top of my head, those are the only two I can think of, but really cool that they came up with that idea. So those lift up and then there's a little device here in the back of the vehicle. So this piece lifts up and then you can tuck them inside there, which I think is really nice. So got this nice mirrored sticker piece, which was pretty common around this era. A couple of tile pieces with the Explorians logo on it. This is kind of a unique piece here. I always like that. Those tend to be really inexpensive. So if you're looking to do some kind of mock with a unique piece, this big triangular piece tends to not go for a lot of money. Cockpit does open and there is a decorative slope piece on the inside there as well. This end is also really cool with the two translucent discs. So when you're kind of scanning, those are helping you look for these scorpions, I guess. I assume that's why it's called scorpion detector, although there are no scorpions included in this set. So maybe I'm missing something. The back end has this really cool device they created back here as well and it does lift up and move so you can put it in pretty much any direction you want to. We've got another nice mirrored sticker piece there. Another common one from this era. So a really unique kind of rover set. Explorians, not a long-lived theme. I think there was around 10 sets. Like I said, Lego went through tons of little small space themes throughout the 90s and I really miss that kind of idea. You know, we had like Spirius, Roboforce, Explorians, Insectoids, UFO, all of these great little space themes that had crazy cool minifigures and unique pieces. Like this one, you know, everything was white black and then it's got, you know, translucent neon green and translucent blue pieces. So each of those little themes had very unique colors that like you saw those colors you go I know it goes to that space theme and I miss that vibe. It's been a long time since I can really remember anything on that level. Maybe Life on Mars you know it had all the sand colored pieces but I just in current era just don't feel like they've done that anymore and I think that would be so cool to bring that idea back and do more little space factions. So this set is not terribly expensive. I think it's starting around $30, $35 in the US on BrickLink. It's a quick build, 20, 25 minutes to build it, but a fun build, a great display piece, a great play piece, a lot of movable parts and you know unique pieces so I definitely think it's still worth getting especially since it's not super expensive so anytime you can get a vintage set and it not be outrageously expensive I think that's great so if you haven't heard of the Explorians definitely check them out it is a great little sub theme of space with some amazing sets <laughs> For watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.